night. He got treatment this morning. He's been in treatment most of the afternoon. The leg just hasn't responded enough to the point where they feel comfortable putting him out there. So the Warriors have to decide. Either Nick Young or their very impressive young big man, Kevon Looney, are the likely replacements for Iguodala. The differences are obvious. Young is a much more talented offensive player, but not as good defensively, whereas Looney has been outstanding defensively and is not the threat offensively that Nick Young would be. So it's a decision that Steve Kerr is going to make. Either way, the bench gets much more reduced without Andre Iguodala there, and the Hamptons lineup is really diminished because he's been such a big part of that. Now with the story about the Rockets, let's go over to Kristen Litlow. Well, D.A., those Warriors took a 2-1 lead after that commanding 41-point win here at Oracle in Game 3. And now, the Rockets know they need to tie the series before it shifts back home. But despite that narrative surrounding the series that concerns the adjustments the Rockets could make, Coach Tony and his team have maintained the position that they won't stray too far from the system that won 65 games this season. They'll be who they are, but they'll be better. Here's what else Coach Tony had to say when he addressed the you got to make some adjustments. you got to certain things that we can do better um, but we you know we can't make, miss 23 shots in the paint you can't turn the ball over 20 times just those two stats alone last night we'd have got to be probably on the road at any city in, in the NBA so you can't do that not against these guys they're not going uh, they're not going to let you to beat these guys and they're good uh, we have to have our A game we had our C game and and you're not going to do it especially on their court so um, again, I, I try to look on the bright side. The bright side is we can play much better, and we have to. And it was in the fourth quarter of game three that D'Antoni not only pulled his starters, but he told them to get their minds right for game four. James Harden, though, again maintains the position that his mindset has never wavered. Always. Never changes. We might get whooped by 40. We might lose by two. We might win by 20, but you know, our same swagger, our same confidence is always there. The Rockets are averaging 16.7 turnovers, which is the highest of any team that's in the conference finals. So expect fewer turnovers, a more physical presence on the defensive end, and for them to get back sooner in transition on D. Ernie? Yeah, thank you very much, Christian. Yeah, that, uh, that turnover uh, situation, 17 a game in this series, they came in averaging the fewest in the playoff field but again more turnovers than assists in game three mike d'antoni says all the pressures on golden state shack you buying what he's selling not really you know pressure's really on the rockets uh, you know some people have the rockets favorite uh, they can play much better the question is we've been asking this question all week uh, which Rockets team is going to show up. He made some great points. They do have to uh, play better. Can't turn the ball over 20, 20 times against this Golden State team because they take pride in playing defense, getting out, getting this build, building involved. But, you know, Mike D'Antoni knows what he's doing, but his guys have to come out and play their A game. If they play their A game and Golden State plays their A game, it'll be a very competitive game. Well, I told you, Arnold, that one thing concerned me going into the series was the turnovers because when you turn the ball over against the Warriors, it leads to eight, ten point runs. And that stat, what you said earlier about they came in averaging the least amount, that, that doesn't matter. You're playing against better teams. You have to, uh, stuff that worked the first round, second round won't work against the Golden State Warriors, but they're a terrific elite defensive team. And James gets so lackadaisical at times with the ball. Uh, you have to be crisp on all your passes. You can't hope to get fouled. Uh, you got to, they got to come out and be aggressive. Listen, I just want to see a good game tonight. I just want to see the Rockets be aggressive. I just, don't just come get punched in the mouth and just keep backing up. Let me ask you about the, the Andre Iguodala situation. How big, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big is the loss of Iguodala for game four? I would say it's about a six. Um, obviously, I think he, he actually six. plays six. better. He plays better with the second unit. When he goes back in with the second unit and Looney kind of goes in the first, he plays better with them because he gives them versatility and ball handling. So all of a sudden, Livingston himself, they all handle the basketball, and then they put KD with the second unit, and he just becomes a primary scorer. So for me, it's going to hurt their second unit because he, even though he starts, he does play the majority of the minutes at times with that second unit. 
which can be effective, and they can be explosive just as, as well as the first unit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's an eight. Andre Iguodala, an yes, wow, okay. uh, Andre Iguodala to me is a super reliable other. You know you can't win games. You know you can't win championships without the super reliable others. He's always making the right play. He's always there defensively. You know, he can give, you know, Kevin uh, Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson a break and saying, I'll guard the guy that's, you know, mainly on the ball. He's always there. Yeah, I think we'll we probably see Bell a little bit more even because he's a good defender at, at that position. So uh, you'll see a lot of different lineups, I think, for Steve Kerr. It's a six. It's an eight. It's a four. Oh, so you... You don't, you don't think it's not, a big deal. Much, put much stock in, Listen, in his absence. Listen, they got Steph, Clay, and Kevin. They're going to be favored to win games. They have won games without Steph Curry. Uh, and listen, uh, Iguodala is a good player, but they win game. They're five and one without Steph in the playoffs. So they're not. Now they got Steph back full eruption. So they're going to be fine. Speaking of Steph, 35 points the other night and uh, really came alive in the second half and uh, got everybody's attention on this drive when he uh, declared whose house this was. And uh, and it was very un Steph like to see that kind of a description and those words coming out of his mouth. In fact, he's, he told ESPN that his mom had sent him that video, had, had told him that he needs to wash his mouth out with soap for using such language. How does she know he cussed? Uh, I think anybody who can <laughs> watch the game watch later, that video, anybody you know, who can watch that video knows. You know, Steph has always been a class act. I forgive him for that. You know, it's just part of the game. You know, a lot of times when you're in the game, you're in the moment, you do uh, things that are very uncharacteristic. Steph, I forgive you. And and I, it made me think of when you first started with us, and you let one slip on the air. No, I didn't. And no, I didn't. and there was a certain <laughs> there was a certain Philip Harrison oh, yeah. who who called it. Yeah. And then you came on the next segment <laughs> yeah. with the bar of soap. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So they're 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 always watching. You, you know, Ernie. It, it, to me, man, this is all about the Rockets tonight. This, this is, we can talk about Iguodala, we can talk about those guys. Man, the Rockets got to come to compete. You can't lose a playoff game by 40 points. I, I think that's almost impossible. I mean, you got to have some competitive spirit. You got to have some pride. I, I'm really hoping the, the Rockets bring it tonight. Because, you know, when we came into this series, we thought it was going to be a great series, very competitive. But, man, if they come in here tonight and get stomped in the face and don't put up any pushback, this thing going to be quick and painless. Well, Steve Kerr certainly expects that uh, there is going to be some force from the other side. These were his comments to his team in the locker room after game three. Next game is going to be the hardest game in the series. It's going to be the hardest game of the series. And... Uh, we know what's coming, so keep that same intensity, that same level of fairness, alertness. We come in, watch the tape to ball, and uh, rest up. Because teams that uh, teams that go down in a series 3-1 are 11 and 233 all time. Wow! And that's what yeah. the Rockets are trying to avoid tonight. But if they uh, win tonight, Ernie, it's that's back, what, that's it's what back, I'm saying. It's back to a level playing field. That's why you can see in part when Mike D'Antoni talks about. There being pressure on the Golden State side, I wouldn't say all the pressures on Golden State. No, the but there, not on but Golden. there's a degree of them to win yeah, this yeah. game but, at home. But, no. but, yeah, but, but usually yeah. when the team gets smacked around, they respond. Very they respond, well. but they I'm respond saying this: very well. if, However, if I'm up two one, I don't have pressure because even if I go down to your place and lose, I'm still coming back home again. So that's yeah. coach speak. Yeah, I, I just that's I, coach speak. Because Kenny, you, and let me ask you this question. I would never be worried being after up watching these first three games. Would you say the Warriors have a better chance of winning in Houston, or the Rockets have a better chance of winning here in Oakland? Oh, well, the Warriors I would, I would have say, a better chance of given winning. the fact that we saw Golden State yeah. win in yeah. Houston. So that, that all the be. pressures on the Rockets. All tonight. the pressures yes, on the Rockets. Yes, it's, you heard it, Ernie. You said it. Eleven and two thirty-three. There's two things about it. I was fortunate to be on that eleven, part of that eleven, looking to my left, but. That is it. I, if we honestly, Ernie, if if you would have read that stat, and when we were in the Houston Rocket teams playing them, I think we would have lost. I don't think we would have. I didn't. I didn't realize it was that difficult to come back from three one. Yeah, yeah, but the, but, there, read that but, stat. but there was a huge difference in those teams. Our teams were pretty much even. They're not as good as this team. They can't afford to get down three one. If teams are, if teams are marginally evenly, and it's a play here or there. 
you're not going to beat this team. I don't think there's a team. A player there. You're not going to beat this team three times in a row. Couple other, uh, couple other notes to consider before we hit the Twitter machine, Jeremy. Okay, 16 straight wins in, at home in the postseason. That's what Golden State's got going. That is the NBA record. The Rockets did not lose consecutive games this season when Harden and Paul were both in the lineup. So it hasn't happened all year. They're going to try to avoid that again tonight or else it's a 3-1 deficit. Now you can crank up the Twitter machine, Jeremy. Yeah, this was what was happening here. Are you, are you aware of all this? No, what's going on? When they when they Googled Shaq, it said you were in in sync. Oh, so, yeah, I did see yeah. that. They had you that you were Actually, in sync. You, you know what? See, Google had you as a member of it. Of an NSYNC. Yeah. You know what? NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. Joey Patone. Joey Patone, says, Patone says, Who knew Shaq was in NSYNC? Does that mean I play basketball? Yes, right. you do, Joey. Uh, Joey's a Justin good dude. Justin Timberlake. Hey, Justin yes. Timberlake, I got. I had to buy a box to see you perform tomorrow night because these Rockets didn't get swept. You better put on a good show, my brother. Right. Cost me a fortune to get a box. I saw the show in L.A. Yeah, yeah nice is, Y'all, who did this? Yeah, this is this <laughs> I did it, Lance. <laughs> actually, you know what? Was this part? Did, did you have a, a hand in this? No, actually, you know what? When they were young, they recorded their first album at my house, at the studio of my house. In sync and Backstreet Boys. True story. I believe wow, that. Yeah. That's pretty good. That yeah, is pretty yeah. good. Hey, you, you gonna give me a good deal on your house, brother? Yeah. That's 20, how. I, Twenty. Yeah, twenty-two million. That's how you had on earlier. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You did look a little right. in sync there. I have no idea what you're talking about. KD, hey, Justin, put on a good show tomorrow night for me. And oh, the, he will. The Justin, sing. KD scored 33. Cry, I, I want to hear some Mary, brother. No, cry me a river, Justin. Can you do, river, can Justin. You do river, uh, mirrors? I think Justin, that's up Bruno Mars. That's, that's, that's Justin, boo. No, cry me a river, No, Justin. mirrors.